Hello everyone, the video number 4 of understanding the basics of the power supply. So in this video we're going to talk about the feedback, how the feedback works. As you see this big gap here, that's this one here, and this here. All the power supplies, you see these two separate the, the two parts of the power supply. The primary as you see it here and secondary as you see it here or hot and cold this one here is a high voltage this one here is a lower voltage 220 volt under 110 volt and here uh, 5 12 24 volt in the power supply there is no connection as you see here there is no physically conductive component that connect between here to here you know the transformer so inside the transformer between these coils here and the coils here there is no connection there is no wires that touch in each other these capacitors here as you know the capacitor there is no connection between this disk and this disk the capacitor is a two disks and there is non-conductive material between the two disks like here what else we have this component here and we are going to talk about it is it's like that it has two pins here and two pins here. What inside this component is a diode or a LED that's giving a light and the other side is a health transistor. There is a health transistor, so you know the there is an emitter collector base. By the base of the transistor, there is a the light sensor. When the LED turns on, this sensor is going to detect the light, transfer it to a electricity signal that's going to turn on the transistor. This chip here, this is the optocoupler, and as you see in the optocoupler, there is no connection between this part and this part. There is just the light and there is non-conductive material between this side and this side. If there is no conductivity between this side and this side, how this side of the board knows that we have the right voltage here. So we have the switch in IC. That's making the signal. We have the MOSFET. That's this signal is make it more big if this is a 5 volt here 160 volt and it's go to the transformer this is the MOSFET the transformer it's gonna give us example 12 volt how this switch in IC now is we have a 12 volt, not 12.5, not 13 or 11 volt. We are going to need a feedback circuit to control this wave, to make this wave short or long as the, the output it change. For the output to be stable at 12 volt, we are going to practice in the port to see what these pins connected to, and we make a little schematic, and uh, that's going to make it more easy to understand. So the first pin and the optocoupler is connected to the negative side of the input capacitor. So another thing the ground and the hot side is not the same as the cold side 
you can see here these two grounds is not connected as you know there is no connection between this side and this side so when you are measuring here and you need the ground use the capacitor the negative side of the capacitor as a clear ground for you when you are measuring some in the cold side use the ground in the negative side of the capacitors so here so the first pin this is the pin number one one two three four so the pin number three is going to the ground so let's put the optic coupler we have the the dot here so the first pin is connected to the ground let's pour it this is G and D in the hot side G and D H the second pan this one here you can see a small trace is going to this dot and from that dot I think is go to the middle pin let's see here yep so we have the IC here the IC which has six pins and the IC dot is here and the middle pin is connected to the optic coupler so this pin here is the feedback so this side of the optic coupler is connected to this side of this chip so we have a chip here so like this so this is a optic coupler and this one is a variable Zener diode and this chip usually the the part number is a TL so the other side of the optic coupler is connect to this resistor and connect to another resistor and connect to here so this pin here we have one resistor and we have another resistor and it's go back to the optical coupler and there is another trace it's go to the positive side of this so let me be sure I'm gonna go on the positive side so you see this the positive side of the capacitor it's go to this side of the resistor so the output capacitor this positive side it's go here and the middle pan the middle pan is ground so this pan here is a ground is a cold GND just give it a GND now. so this is the feedback circuit that's the little design from what we see in this board so the voltage here like 5 or 12 volt it's go to this resistor and it's go to the Zener diode and from the Zener diode it go to the LED there is a LED here yeah if we make it big there is a LED light and there is a small transistor here and this side of the transistor the base of the transistor is a light sensor is detecting when the voltages go higher here 
when the LED gets more bright, the transistor is going to be more open, allow more voltage to pass, and that voltage is going to go to the feedback be at regular 5 volt. We have a wave like this. If we have 6 volt, this one is going to detect a high voltage. This wave is going to be more short. The positive side of the wave is going to be more short. If it is 4 volt, the wave should be more wide than here. As the wave is get more wide, that's allowed that uh, that's allowed the MOSFET to stay open for long time and allow the voltage to pass for longer. Transformer is going to transfer that wave to a higher voltage than this. Usually, the problems is these resistors they go open if one of these resistors go bad we are going to have a different volt here high low or sometime up and down the symbol of the the variables in our diode is like this and we have one pen here the third pen so one two three trying to uh, to share some information with you and uh, thank you for watching and see you on next one